Hello again, my name is Sandra Sinamafenu and I'm back with more business news for you. The National Insurance Commission has assured that all licensed insurance firms are financially strong to meet the obligations. A statement released by the Commission today also assured that no policyholder would lose his or her premium even if an insurance company should go down, said Ishen as Head of Supervision at the Commission. Within the insurance industry, we have a number of funds. So we have what we call the motor compensation fund, for an example. So if, unfortunately, you get involved in a car accident and the person who you had the accident with is not insured or there's a hit and a run, we have a fund which is a motor compensation fund that we can use it to give the person a compensation. It's not a huge amount that you have gotten if it was properly insured, but there is compensation for that. We also have a fund which we call the Client Rescue Fund. And the purpose of that fund is that if an insurance company gets into difficulty, um, there will be ways by which the policyholder will get some level of payment. So there are protections, and these funds were started four or five years ago, so they are building up over time. So let's do more business news. And some financial houses, including savings and loans companies, say the cleanup in the banking sector has had a negative toll on them. So far, the Bank of Ghana has actually met some banks under the Consolidated Bank of Ghana, the CBG, and dissolved those who have been termed as insolvent. And the CD, CDH Savings and Loans is one of such financial institutions which has suffered bouts of panic withdrawals in the aftermath of the cleanup. But how they actually faring? Executive Director of CDA Savings and Loans, Martin Amwa, told my colleague Charles Aite his outfit is liaising with the Consolidated Bank of Ghana to actually fast track payments of locked up investments. We have managed clients' funds uh, in the mirrors of uh, uh, Ghana cities. So, what we, 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 we've seen that now with this uh, cleaning that has happening in the system, with good corporate governance, and then we also, as management of uh, CDH savings and loan, making sure that we put in all necessary measures, also make sure the BOG rules and everything is made comply with. Then we have a good business because, as I said earlier on, it's all about confidence, trust, managing clients' funds where, when they are in need of their funds, wherever you invested is, they have access to their funds. Mm -hmm. So we, we think we have a good business coming. And also, uh, if I look at the economy in general, as what has happened in 2019 with the budget in particular, I think there's uh, more business for us to do. Right, but let's center a little bit on the financial market. As you rightly stated, the cleanup and everything has had a positive impact on the banking sector in general and the financial market. But how has it impacted a savings and loans company like that of CDH? Basically, as a, a financial Immediate, where I stand in between people who have excess funds and those who also need the funds. Now, my role as a mediator is to make sure that I play this role very well, effectively, making sure that uh, I give a good return to my customers and also people who are come to take funds for me. The cost of funds also minimized. Now, how has this impacted on CDH? I would say, good. I am. It looks like a, what is going to happen now is this. Now we are going to have people who actually need funds coming to me and I'm also going to make sure that I get funds at a very a good price, minimum price for them. And once I'm giving them good returns, you know all the time you the savings and loan companies, we try to pay a little bit higher than the TBA. If TBA is paying around 13, 14, we do about T plus 5 or T plus 6 not the 10, 10 per month as we don't know, but at least a reasonable returns. And with this, and also with the confidence that you must also, the client also now have that, now the system is now okay, whoever is now working, they are in a good boost and they can do well. I think business is going to boom this year. Some concerns by um, some customers of um, the savings and loans companies claiming, claiming to have issues reaching out their matured investments. Have you heard any of these concerns? Uh, yes, if I tell you there isn't a liquidity challenge in the financial sector and I'm not being I mean, truthful to, to my clients. Mm -hmm. There's been a liquidity challenge. And uh, I was telling some group of uh, our clients this morning that there have been, a, you know, we are managing funds. I mean, our stock of trade is cash. Now, 
for if I, I give you a little background narrative of what has happened in the financial sector for some time now, that will explain that definitely there should be a challenge. Now, you know, the government came out uh, of a policy that, okay, now there's a single treasury account. All financial uh, institutions, funds that we are managing for government agencies, move everything to Bank of Ghana. So definitely that will affect whatever money that you have available for managing. Then also, followed by the takeover of uh, UT and then uh, Capital Bank in 2017, that brought a bit of panic withdrawals. People were withdrawing their funds because they were not certain, because there was also a bit of speculative that where other banks will follow, other banks will follow for one year, so people were actually taking off their funds. I even think that was one reason why the CD was not performed, because people were actually taking monies and putting them into uh, the hard currency, the dollar. Then come the five banks also. So the panic withdrawal actually did continue. And we also experienced where people even come also here to take their investment and go to middle school. Mm. So with all this, yes, the funds that we are managing, it will be, it'll be short. If we are having 10 billion and people are withdrawing, it definitely too. So that has actually have a, a little effect on us. But now that everything is set, BOG have almost concluded that and uh, there's a little bit of payment to the various financial institutions, this thing will be sorted out very soon. Mm. Uh, we've seen the AHG have been in business for 32 years. After storms, it comes. But thank God, we are always able to come over this. Crude oil went up marginally to trade at $61.67 a barrel today. Time now to go for some community news. Two main issues were trending on social media today and has to do with what is happening in Davos and the Chinese president actually coming into Ghana. So what have you been saying? Let's check social media and see what the comments are. This one is coming from Amano B. Ofue and he said, I'll prefer China to the Western country. Let's bargain smartly. That has to do with the Chinese president coming to Ghana. And let's check from Atanga Thimoti says, uh, looking for other ways to release his uh, compatriots back to Ghana to exploit what is left. Mama Africa, when will you open your eyes? Still on that. And then this is coming from Daniel Awatri, and he said, coming to see the bauxite and manganese for the cyanohydro. That's also on that. And let's go to Twitter, and what is saying? This on the um, Trump, uh, what's happening in Davos, and he said, it's a shame domestic topics are keeping Trump, May, and Macron away from um, Davos 2019. Missed opportunity to come together with other world leaders, business, and NGOs to tackle some of the global risks we face. And this also is on Davos, and we probably go hang out with. <laughs> so uh, that's what is happening on social media. So, uh, that's what you have to say. <laughs> I have to end it here. My name is Sandra Essen. I'm up in it. Let's do more business tomorrow, same time. Thanks so much for your time. Mm -hmm.